So in this question here, we've got an integral 1 over 2x squared plus 4, all squared, and we're going to integrate with regards to x. Now, what technique are we going to use here? Now, use substitution straight off, that's still going to give us some problems. We need to be careful with that one. Uh, another way which would be quite tempting would to be expand this out and get a 4x to the power of 4 term and a 16 as a constant at the end and some x squared terms in the middle. Another way would be to try maybe partial fractions, but that's also going to give us some problems and be quite complicated. So one method I'm going to show you here today is the power reduction formula for, a, for a, an integral of this form. So what we have, if we have a look at an integral of 1 over ax squared plus b to the power of n, integrate that with regards to x we get a result which is in two parts first of all we get an answer a bit like when we do integration by parts so the first part will be the answer and that will give us x over 2b times n minus 1 now these values i'll go through in a moment and then we have this term here multiplied so ax squared plus b to the power of n minus 1 so whatever the power is, that's what we use. And then the second part is another integral itself, which we add to this expression here. And it is uh, 2n minus 3 over 2b times n minus 1. And the integral is this power reduced by 1, as is always the case in these power reduction formula questions. So 1 over ax squared plus b to the power of n minus 1. And that's all with regards to x again. Now, if you add uh, constants of integration here to go in here, then you just fill them in in this part here and evaluate x accordingly. Okay, so looking at this integral here, we can straight away calculate which our values of a, our b, and our n are. So a would equal 2, b equals 4, and the n equals 2. OK, right. So let's go straight in. From there, we can plug in our values into our power reduction formula and see where that takes us. OK, so first part of our answer is x. So we can write that in straight off. 2b, so that's 2 times 4. And we've got n minus 1. So that's 2 minus 1. So I'm going to write these all in as they appear in the power reduction formula. And then times ax squared plus b, which is simply 2x squared plus 4, as in the question. 2x squared plus 4. OK, now the power is to the n minus 1, which is just going to be 1. So I'm just going to leave that as that. OK, so now we add on an integral with a constant multiple attached to it. So 2n minus 3, so that's two twos minus 3, and 2b, that's 2 times 4, 2 times 4, and then n minus 1, still going to write that as 2 minus 1. And that's our constant multiple with our integral of 1 over ax squared plus b, which is this, and our power reduction has reduced it now to 1. So I'm just going to write that as 1 over 2x squared plus 4, and then dx. OK, right. Now, that's all pretty straightforward. We can just evaluate that. This we can evaluate, no problem. This, we're still not quite ready to evaluate that as an integral just yet. But what we can try to achieve is to get that in the form of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. And that's obviously a very famous integral, which just gives us the inverse tangent of x. So if you can get this into this format with some algebra, then we're straight away into calculating what our integral is. So let's work from left to right and work with our integral at the end. So now the next line would have x. So now we can calculate all these. So 2 4 is 8 times 1 is 8. So it's 8 times 2x squared plus 4. So that's straightforward. OK. Now this constant uh, multiple here for our integral. 2 2 is a 4 minus 3 is 1. And then 2 4 is 8 times 1. That's just going to give us 8. OK. Now let's do something with this. 
Now we can get this down to an x squared term by dividing everything through by 2. So if I factor out a 2 out of that, I'll get 2x squared plus 2. So that would take care of that, that would be the equivalent value. So now we'll have a new integral. Take out the 2 on our denominator, so we'll have a half, and then we'll have 1 over x squared plus 2 dx. So you can see there, this bit here would be equivalent for our integral, giving us that. So that's the 2 taken out. So this is now going to be 1 over 16. So we're nearly there. So this is not going to be quite yet the inverse tangent. So what we need is now a u substitution. So what we try and get is something that when we square it, we get 2. Well, the number we need is obviously square root of 2. So what we want is let u equal x over root 2. So if we do that, we'll get something we can square and get into our 2 there and then factor out a 2. So therefore, that would lead us to x equals u times root 2. So to get x on its own, so that's what we can put in there. But now we need to make our du. So take the derivative of this. So now du would equal 1 over root 2 dx. And then just to get dx on its own, now dx will be root 2 times du. So dx equals root 2 times u. OK, so we can substitute all of that in here and let's see where that takes us. So this constant here, we can just bring that out into the front, 1 down over 16. Now we can change this into our u substitution. So x squared, that's going to give us u squared times 2. So that's going to give us 2u squared. So 1 over 2u squared, the 2 stays. And now the dx, that becomes root 2 times u. So therefore, sorry, that's root 2 times du, I should say. Root 2 times du. So now I can put root 2 on the top. So 1 times root 2, and then just put that there as du. OK, right. Now let's factor out the 2 from this as we did in this one. So this we can now get 2 times u squared plus 1. That would be the equivalent of that. And then we've got our integral in this format, and then we can straight away take our inverse tangent. So now we've got 1 over 16. Bearing in mind this will come down. I'll take this off the board in a moment. 1 over 16, and then we'll have root 2 over 2 times u squared plus 1. So let's just write that like that so we can see what we can do. 2u squared plus 1 du. OK, now we can see straight away I can take the root 2 over 2, bring this out to the front. I'm left with my u squared plus 1 on its own. So now I've got 1 over 16 times root 2 over 2 times 1 over u squared plus 1 du. OK. Right, let's make some space on the board and then we can write, our, write out our answers. OK, right, well we can bring this down. That can be our first part of our answer. So x over 8 times 2x squared plus 4. So that's good to go. Here we're going to have root 2 over 32. So now we can add, obviously bring down the add sign, root 2 over 32. Now this is just going to be the inverse tangent of u. Well u we know is x over root 2. So therefore it's the inverse tangent of x over root 2. So that's root 2 over 32, inverse tangent of x over root 2. And not forgetting the all important plus c. Okay, now that completes our integral. Now we could simplify things up even more expand the 8 with there, but I'm going to leave that to you guys to take care of that. But that's our interval taken care of. Okay.